ました。うん Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We have BBC Sounds app on in the background. Type in anthems, classic anthems, future anthems, and today's anthems. All 60-minute shows. Freaking awesome. Just dance away. Stick your headphones on or stick your speakers on, and it's a good time. Drop this video a like. It's going to be good. It's going to be sick. Drop it a like. Let's go. Okay. Shifting. I tried psyching myself up before, but I got a bit excited about the song that was on, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm not very happy with that because I know I can hit that. It felt so light on the. Um, you know when it just feels light on your back? And I was going down, I was like, oh my god, I got this, I got this. And then it's like something went in my head. I just got like friggin'. I mean, I go, I go low on my squats, so I go deep on my squats. So I got. You know, a few inches back up and I was just like, nope, that's not shifting, and then bail straight away. It got in here for some reason. But uh, I think what we'll do is lower that, go for it again in a few days time or maybe next week or something. Because I want to hit 170. I can't believe I didn't hit that, that was crap. <laughs> Can you tell I'm angry? I failed the squat. I'll tell you what though guys, sometimes you just gotta suck it up and carry on. I was miffed, I was really really annoyed when I didn't hit that squat. I had high hopes that I would hit it, you know, after the positive warm up and all this kind of stuff. And so I thought, you know what, sod it, plan is going out the window, I'm gonna leg press and press and press and press. Just out of anger, like I, w I wanna build bigger, stronger legs. So I'm just gonna press and press and press. We maxed it out here, and then we had to think smart and add the old power block on top. So this adds up to 250, and then however much the track weighs, I just call it 250. And then this is a 32 kilo dumbbell, so 282 kilos for 15 reps. I will take that, and we will progress it, and progress it, and progress it. I'm gonna do another set. 
Hi, mate. Hi, okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. Right. Yeah, just a squiggle on this thing. That's it. Cheers. Nice one. Thanks, Thanks a lot, mate. Have a good day. What a nice bloke. I like it when that... Right, there's a few different drivers that bring my Alpha Lee. He is my favourite. He's a he's really nice, kind old bloke, you know? But enough of that. Let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Jesse, look what's come. Look, look, look at this. What do you think? So, I mean, it's a good job I actually had a haircut this morning. I like to have a fresh, fresh fade for, for these kinds of videos. Um, doesn't always work out that way, but anyway. It is Wednesday right now, and my package has just arrived. We actually picked up four items uh, from this launch, and I am very, 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 whoa, oh, brilliant. Very excited to be filming this, purely because the last Alpha Leap video that I did was in November, wait, when's Black Friday? That's not December, I think it's November, anyway. It's been, you know, it's now mid-February, it's been a couple of months. And so, we have some new goodies that have arrived. Four items in today's video, guys, okay? One long sleeve, one t-shirt, one jogger, and one hoodie. Everything you see will be in a size medium. I am around about five foot six, 180 odd pounds right now. I am peak bulk, so everything is gonna fit me as tight as it possibly will. Soon I'm gonna be losing like 20, 25 pounds and it'll be a bit looser, but bear in mind, I'm short and 180 pounds. Right, I don't know how big my chest is now, I haven't got a clue. But anyway, let's start off with item numero uno, which is called the Lux Scoop VT White Walker. That was a, more of a mouthful than I was expecting. Anyone else really like the names that they come up with? Like White Walker, like you could just call it white, but no, Alpha Lee call it White Walker, because they can. Here we have it in a size medium, okay? So bearing in mind, I have no idea how big my arms are or anything like that either. I picture myself wearing this, to be honest, probably not to the gym. I mean, I don't know whether that's how it's intended or whatever, but certain Alpha Lee items, I kind of pick and choose as I, th I think, oh, that looks a little bit nicer. I'll wear that to something else. This is probably one of those for me. The items like the, um, what is it called? The rolled muscle tee from like mid 2019. The rolled muscle, where they like rolled it up at the at the sleeves like that, just made your arms look nice and you know, juicy. <laughs> just made your arms look, look bigger than they were basically. I really like that tee, and if I ever go to dinner with Charlotte or something like that, I wear that. It's a bit more casual. I won't, you won't find me, you know, doing bench press or bicep curls in it. This is probably the same. You know when a t-shirt is just like nice. It's it's a nice t-shirt and you don't want to get all sweaty in it, that, that is this for me. I don't know how it's intended. Let me know in the comments whether you're gonna feel, whether you're gonna use it in, in, in the same way or whatever. But here is how it fits on me, like so, in a size medium. Um, I, I assume, purely because um, that is how Christian does most of his things, it's gonna shrink a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. After a couple of washes, they tend to fit perfectly. So why don't we couple this up? Little Love Island reference there. Next up, we will try on the identity jogger in the army colour. I like that they call the camo greeny kind of stuff army. I just like it, okay? It's better than calling it green, it's better than calling it camo, it's just army. It's like, whoa, you know? So if you are following me or have been following me for a while, um, you will know that my favourite jogger traditionally from Alpha Lee has been the premium joggers, right? Um, so I, I, just, I don't know why, I just love them. I love the stretchiness, I love the lightweightedness if you like, of them. Um, but recently, I think in the last launch, whether it was the Black Friday launch or whatever, I actually picked up a pair of identity joggers. Since then, I have freaking lived in them. So I had these in a medium in black. Here they are in a medium in army. So bear in mind again, I am five foot six, so fairly short, but I tend to get a medium on bottoms, whether it's shorts or joggers, I tend to get a medium purely based on the waistline because, you know, love handles and all that. They're not as bad as they used to be, but they are still there. So, you know, medium for the waistline. But with me being short, these aren't too long. You can still have that kind of, you know, when people wear no socks and you can see like the ankles in between. Um, I'm that guy that dresses like that. 
and that, that's what I do with these joggers. <laughs> just as a general rule, I don't really train in joggers. I tend to just wear joggers casually either around the house or if I'm running some errands or whatever. I tend to get too hot if I train in joggers and so these are more like lifestyle kind of joggers for, for me. You wouldn't find me, you know, coming up, warming up for, for leg day squatting in these and stuff. Just wouldn't happen because they are a bit thick. That was one of the things I used to love, or still do love, about the premium joggers. They are slightly thinner, and so if I have to wear joggers for a leg day or whatever, I tend to choose the premium ones. Having said that though, you can definitely squat down in these. You know, they're not gonna rip, they're stretchy as, but you would find me training in something like the uh, identity shorts rather than the identity joggers. Purely because I, I just prefer training in shorts. That's just me, it's all personal preference. Next up, the Aspire Tea in the wine color. Now this is just a beautiful, deep uh, purpley kind of colour. I love like I love maroon. I, I would call this maroon. My childhood rugby team, um, we actually played in maroon and white and so I, I feel like ever since then we ha I have had a, a kind of love for ma maroon kind of colours. I do tend to pick one up at every kind of opportunity I have. A lot of black Alphalete stuff and a lot of maroon coloured Alphalete stuff. Um, I always have done but hey this is not maroon, this is wine coloured. Bam, bam! Okay, this fits me a lot better than I expected. It hugs in the right places. You know, I was, in, I was expecting it, if I'm honest, to hug the love handles a little bit, and it does. But in a few weeks it'll be fine, when I've lost a few pounds and all that, you know? But I, I enjoy training legs in a, either a long sleeve um, tee, or an oversized kind of baggy t-shirt, and so this was my I'm thinking of training legs in this basically. If you've seen my last Alphalete video, I'll either link it at the end or in the description box. It won't be hard to find, just type in LSJ Alphalete or something. Anyway, Aspire, this, this is this range. This is the Aspire range, right? Uh, and the luminous green one that I picked up in the last video um, is the same material. It kind of, it's weird. It, when you pick it up, it kind of just flops. It's a bit weird, but then when you put it on, it just tugs you. I don't know quite how, how that works, but anyway. Last but not least. Certainly not least. Now it doesn't take um, a genius to figure out that I am a fan, a bit of a fanboy of the brand. I have loved Alphalete for years. I had their very first emerald green hoodie. Um, I I've used the company since day one, basically. Um, but one hoodie that I have never had is this one right here. The saying, proud but never satisfied, I think, is, a, is literally a movement. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say hundreds, if not thousands of people live their lives by that freaking motto because of Christian. And I know he's gonna be watching this, so I don't wanna act like I'm kissing his ass, but I think having this on a hoodie is just a bit of a, a statement, you know? And it's something that I've never actually had. Considering how many hoodies, Alphalete hoodies, I have had and still do have, the fact that I have never had a proud but never satisfied hoodie is beyond me, I don't know. So uh, as far as I know, this is a little bit baggy, but not massively baggy. The old kind of red one that just said Alphalete across the chest, I had that last June, last May, June, something like that. It's not as tight as that, but it's also not as loose as the Mission hoodie, which I wore in Krakow. So if you follow my Krakow videos, that army colored green one with Alphalete in big across the chest, um, it's not as baggy as that, but it's also not as tight as the other one. So it's kind of like a in-between thing, which is nice because believe it or not I have the options when it comes to my Alphalete hoodies now and so I pick them dependent upon the weather Which changes a lot here in the UK. So anyway, here we go. No Alphalete branding across the front Just the proud but never satisfied across the back. This is a size medium and I won't lie guys, I'm a little bit buzzing to have this. I'm going to shoot these clothes um, with my boy Callum tomorrow, so you guys will see that video over the next few days. And I think we're gonna have some fun with, with this hoodie because I've been picturing you know, shots with, with it in the background. And just, just the writing on it, you can get some really cool shots. And so I'm excited to, to shoot those. This video will actually be going live on Wednesday, which is today, because I like to get my Alphalete videos up ASAP because it's like, as close to the launch as possible. So stay tuned on my Instagram for kind of like a live update of, of the, the shoot tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be heading down to Cambridge, which is actually where Callum lives. It's a couple of hours from my house. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool city, you know, like old buildings, new buildings, 
good mixed vibes that we can get some good kind of mixed shots for the gram over the next few few weeks, few days and all this kind of stuff. So that is everything that we picked up people. Everything in a medium. One more time, my measurements, I'm around about five foot six, about 180 pounds right now. Not for long, don't worry, it's heavy, I know, but it'll come down soon, no, I promise. Usually on these videos I say I have a 41 inch chest, I, sh I assume because I am a higher body fat right now, that that will be higher, but I honestly don't know and I don't have a tape to hand so I'm not gonna measure myself, but you know, they're, they're a rough kind of, of, of guesstimation, shall we say. If you have any questions about the launch, Stick them in the comments, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to answer them as quickly and as accurately as I possibly can. Let's have a quick look in the mirror at this, right? So, medium, proud but never satisfied hoodie, identity joggers, bang, in a medium. I'm picturing this with some nice Vapor Maxes. Or, you know those white Nikes that I have? Like, I'm gonna take both of those to, to Cambridge. Like, I get excited planning this stuff. But that is it, everybody. That is everything we picked up, four items this time around. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you picked anything up. Has yours arrived yet? Has it been shipped yet? If so, what did you get? What are your sizes? What are your measurements? Let's get talking in the comments, people. It actually really does help, like algorithm-wise and all that kind of stuff. So, if you enjoyed it, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Plenty of interesting content coming soon, okay? Testosterone results. I actually have my bloods done, testosterone and all that, hormone kind of stuff. That will be coming very soon. Eating challenges coming soon normal fitness vlogs, physique updates, kind of peak bulk physique update. These have all been filmed. They just need to be edited and uploaded. So stick around if you're new here, you will not regret it. Thank you very much for watching today, guys. Once more, drop this video a like if you did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Together, we will grow. And I will see you in the next one.